Well, welcome back boys and girls. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you that you love us so very much and help us to get to know you better and help us to love you back and to love other people. In Jesus' name, Amen. Psalms chapter 9 verse 10 says, And those who know your name put their trust in you, for you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. So, as David is saying, he's speaking to God, he's praying to God, and he's telling God, those who know your name put their trust in you, for you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. So basically, those who know God trust God because God doesn't forsake those who know him. So it's really a beautiful verse. He doesn't forsake those who seek him. So if the goal is to trust God, we can trust God more by getting to know God better. Kind of like if you just meet someone for the first time. You might trust them a little, but you don't know them, so you don't really know. But as you get to know someone better and better, then you have a better idea of whether that person is trustworthy or is not trustworthy. If you've known a friend for 10 years and they've been a good friend for 10 years, then chances are you're safer at being able to trust them than someone you just met yesterday. So. The more time you spend with God, the better you get to know God, the easier it is to put more and more trust in God. And God wants to, us to get to know Him better. God wants to spend time with us. God wants us to trust Him more and more. Um, now, I mean, there are people that just hear about God for the first time and immediately uh, trust God for salvation and get saved. And that's wonderful. I'm not saying you need to study the Bible for 10 years before you can become a Christian. But as you spend more and more time praying, talking to God, reading God's Word, the Bible, as you spend more time getting to know God on, on a deeper and deeper and deeper level, then you can see it's like, it's like an elevator. You walk into the elevator, you assume the cables are good and secure, you can go up, you can go down, you'll be safe. But if you um, go back and look physically, open up the top of the elevator and someone shows you, here are the cables, each one of them is strong enough to keep the whole elevator up by itself and look how many cables there are, you're really safe. If you really inspect it in like, wow, this really is safe, then it's like, you can almost say it's, you have to trust less because you, you can see it. And the same way, the more time you spend with God, um, it's more like, wow, I, I know God is there and I know God will do this or he will do that because he said he will and he's, he's never lied to me. Everything that he's ever said he would do, he has done. Um, God is, the more intimate knowledge you have of God's trustworthiness and that he always speaks the truth, the easier it is to trust God always in all circumstances. So, let me read it again. Psalm 9, verse 10. And those who know your name put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. So let's seek God together, let's get to know Him better, let's put our trust in God more and more, and know that He is faithful, He is trustworthy, He is honest. Dear Lord, thank You that You love us, and thank You that You are trustworthy, thank You that You show Yourself to us, thank You that we can get to know You better and trust You more and more, and help us to seek You, Lord, with our whole heart, and to get to know You better and better and better and to keep on seeking you, to keep on learning more about you, to keep on drawing near to you for the rest of our lives so we can come closer and closer and closer 
to the heart of God and that you can change us to have more and more of the mind of Christ. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. God bless you.